Fantastic, Helen. Now, slowly put Millie down over there, on the left. Oh, hello everyone. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with Millie the motorbike. These vehicles are helping Helen with her training exercises. It's important for Helen to practice lifting different vehicles and placing them down without hurting them so that she can rescue vehicles in a real emergency. Helen's lifting each vehicle and placing them in a special order. Can you guess what the order is? That's right, she's sorting them by size. Starting from the left, we have the smallest vehicle first. Millie the motorbike, Rick the road roller, Max the monster truck, Rebecca the recycling truck, Fiona the fire truck, and, oh, there should be one more. Ah, here he is, Bobby the bus, just in time. Bobby's the biggest vehicle here. Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the Mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The Mechanicals will fix you up and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch. Far, far stronger than before. Fantastic! Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow, starting with Fiona the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick the Yellow Road Roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca the Green Recycling Truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie the Blue Motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby the Purple Bus. Careful now, Helen, nice and steady. Brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow and they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful. Thanks Fiona, Max, Rick, Rebecca, Millie and Bobby. And thank you for joining us at the garage today. Hello everyone, we've got a visitor here today. Have you seen him anywhere? He's big. He's very big. He's George the Giant Dump Truck. Oh, there you are George. George is usually hard at work in the mine, carrying massive amounts of rock. But today, he's here at Gecko's garage getting some new tyres fitted. 
They are huge. George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage. So he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great. Well done, Mechanicals. Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide. But George is much wider. Uh-oh. He's going to knock down the fence. Watch out, George! Oh, dear. Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers! Red. Yellow. And blue. Don't leave the flowers there. Those flowers are tall. But George is much taller. Uh-oh. George can't see the flowers. And he's going to squash them. Watch out, George. Oh, dear. Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh, he's going to drive straight through it. Watch out, George! Oh dear. Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. And here comes Helen the helicopter. She's checking on the construction work from way high up in the sky. Oh dear, something's wrong. I think Helen's about to crash land on the construction site. Oh dear, poor Helen. We need to get you back to the garage. But how can we do that? I'd normally call Helen to carry a broken vehicle to the garage. But she can't carry herself. Helen is very big. Can you think of anyone that could help get Helen to the garage? George! That's right! Helen is very big, but George is much bigger. He can carry Helen back. George is too big for gardening and he smashed the construction gate. He messed up Celia's concrete. That really wasn't great. But when Helen was in trouble, he knew just what to do. No matter if you're big or small, there's a perfect job for you. Well done, George. You've saved the day. The mechanicals will get Helen sorted out in no time. And you'd best head home to the mine. You've got important work to do. Bye! Oh! Uh-oh! The trees! Watch out, George! Too late. Andy the Animal Ambulance is visiting Number Zoo today. He's here to pick up a poorly monkey and take her over to Dr. Poppy's Pet Rescue Centre. Oh dear, what's happened to poor Andy? He's picked up his poorly passenger, but those cheeky monkeys have torn off his flashing lights. And he's covered in banana skins. Drive over to Gecko's Garage and we'll get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Before we can check you over, we need to clean off all those banana skins. Time for a quick trip through the truck and car wash. That's better. 
now we can see the damage those pesky monkeys have caused. Come into the garage and we'll take a good look at you. Those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off, as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh no, the patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down. No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello, Gecko. Is everything okay? How's that sore arm of yours healing? Oh, fine, thanks to you, Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the Animal Ambulance is in the garage for repairs, but the patient he was bringing to you has escaped. And she's wrecking my garage. That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK. Thanks, Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy, but she's safely back where she belongs, all thanks to Dr Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up, they work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue centre to fix that monkey's tail. Welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a hospital just for poorly pets. Let's see what's wrong with Mabel, shall we? Here she comes down our conveyor belt now. Robbo, what can you tell us about Mabel? Mabel is a type of monkey called a spider monkey. Spider monkeys spend most of their time up in trees and they use their long tail like another arm to grab on and swing from branches. Thanks, Robbo. But oh, look! There seems to be something wrong with her tail. There appears to be a knot in her tail. One of those other cheeky monkeys must have played a trick on her. Naughty monkeys. Robbo, how are you with knots? Perfect. Mabel, you have your tail back. <laughs> hey! It looks like Mabel is back to her old self again. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Celia the cement mixer is working hard on the construction site today. She's pouring concrete into the ground to make strong foundations to build houses on. This site needs a lot of concrete. Celia You'd better come over to the depot to get some more. It's just round the corner from Gecko's garage. Concrete is made from different ingredients all mixed together, like a cake. To build a good strong building, we need good solid ground. The ingredients fill Celia's drum, then it churns round and round. Cement, sand, stones and water create the perfect paste. Now it's off to the construction site. There is no time to waste. Celia's drum keeps moving, round and round, all twirly-whirly. This keeps the concrete mixture from going hard too early. She needs to get there in one hour. No messing on the way. The construction site is not too far, so that should be okay. Uh, Celia, I think there's something wrong with your drum. It's not supposed to be making that noise. Perhaps you should drive back over to Gecko's garage so that we can take a look. If it stops turning, then you'll be in trouble. 
the concrete will be stuck solid in the drum. Oh dear, it looks like Celia is carrying on to the construction site. Uh-oh, a traffic jam. But don't worry, you still have three quarters of your time left. Hmm, your drum is still making a terrible noise. Are you sure you won't come back to the garage? We don't want your drum to... Stop. Uh-oh. Celia, where are you going? If the concrete hardens in your drum, then you'll be in terrible trouble. It'll take days to get the hardened concrete out. We need to get you fixed up right away, back at the garage. Oh no, Celia, what have you done? Your drum has stopped and now your wheel has come off. You can't drive to the construction site or to the garage. And with a drum full of concrete, you're too heavy for Helen the helicopter to pick up. If you can't come to the garage, then we'll come to you. Hold on in there, Celia. We're on our way. Go, go, Helen. Our time is half gone, so we need to get that drum turning again, and quickly. Go, go, mechanicals! Fantastic! Now, let's get that tyre changed. You're all fixed up now, Celia, but we only have 15 minutes left. I just can't see how you can get to the construction site in time. If only there was someone who could help you get there faster. Hooray! Here comes Millie the police motorbike. She can put on her flashing lights and clear a path through the traffic to the construction site. We'll meet you there. Phew! You made it just in time, Celia. But that was very, very close. I think Celia's learnt her lesson. And next time there's something wrong, she'll come and get help from her friends at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored, and now he's here, flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. We really need to find something useful for Rick to do, before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the ice cream van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit. But we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit 
then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie is just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone! Those smoothies look great! Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy! The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone. We're heading off to our spare parts store today. It's on the other side of town. So Helen the helicopter is going to fly us there. Go, go Helen. The store is where we keep all of the spare parts for the vehicles we look after. It's in an awful mess, so we're meeting Florence the forklift truck there. She's going to help us get things tidy. Hello Florence, I'm so glad you offered to help. Some of the spare parts are far too heavy for me and the mechanicals to lift by ourselves. Should we go and take a look inside? Oh dear, just look at this mess. I try to keep things tidy, but we've been so busy lately. Let's try sorting everything by size, shall we? Small, medium and large. much tidier, but 
there aren't many big or small parts, but there's loads of medium-sized ones. There isn't enough room for them all. We'll have to try something else. How about sorting the parts by shape? Circles, squares and triangles. Hmm. We have lots of wheels and other circle shapes. And we have lots of parts in square boxes, but no triangles. Let's try again. How about sorting the shapes by colour? That might work. Red, yellow and blue. Uh-oh. We have a place for all the red, yellow and blue parts. But what about all of the other colours? No, this won't do. One last try. Let's try sorting by vehicle. So, bike, car and van parts on the left, truck and bus parts in the middle, and construction vehicle parts on the right. Perfect! A place for everything and everything in its place. Very tidy. Oh no, Florence, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Your lifting forks look damaged. The mechanicals will get you some replacement forks. At least we know where to find them, now that the store is tidy. You're a construction vehicle, so your parts will be over on the right. I'll go outside and call Helen to take us back to the garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you to see if there's anything else wrong. Mm, no, it looks like just your forks are broken. We'll soon get you fixed up. Go, go mechanicals! Florence worked so hard today. She is a brilliant friend. I'm sorry that it took so long, but we got tidy in the end. All that lifting broke her forks. We'll fix her good as new. As a thank you for all her hard work, it's the least that we could do. There, you're fit and healthy again, ready for your next job. I'm glad Florence could help us tidy up. She's a hard worker and a brilliant lifter. Bye! Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane is working on the construction site today. His job is to smash down old buildings using his big heavy wrecking ball. Go, go Ryan! Oh no! That wasn't supposed to happen. Your wrecking ball is lost in the river. Poor, poor Ryan. You can't do your job without your wrecking ball. Come over to Gecko's garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Drive onto the platform and let's take a good look at you. It looks as if the wrecking ball wasn't attached properly. I'll get the mechanicals to find you a new one to try out. Go, go mechanicals! They've found you a new wrecking ball. 
Now, let's see if you can smash this wall. Ooh, it may be strong and very shiny, but that ball is far too tiny. The second ball looks just the thing. Now give it an almighty swing. It's big and heavy and... Oh wait, Ryan can't even hold it straight. The third attempt might smash the wall. It's not too big and not too small. But a glass wrecking ball, I fear, is not the cleverest idea. The fourth one's made of stronger stuff. I hope that it's strong enough. Oh dear, this wrecking ball's no good. We can't smash a solid wall. With wood? Surely now these blocks will fall. With a rubber wrecking ball? Ryan swings it back, but no such luck. Look out, mechanicals, quick! Duck! Ah, finally, the real deal. A wrecking ball that's made of steel. It's strong and heavy, not too small. One swing, and then it's... Bye-bye, wall! Fantastic! The Mechanicals have found the perfect wrecking ball for you, Ryan. And it's held on firmly, so you won't have any more accidents. Time to get you back to work at the construction site. I'm glad we could fix Ryan's wrecking ball. He has important work to do smashing down old buildings so that his friends can build new ones. And now he has the right tool for the job. For more amazing videos, why not tap here to subscribe to Toddler Fun Learning and tap here to watch more videos from me!